I am going to explain how to find the points on the surface which are nearest to the horizon. So here the question. The question was find the points uh, on the surface z square is equal to x y plus one that are nearest to the horizon. Okay. So the solution part. So let x comma y comma z are the points. Let x comma y comma z are the points on the surface. On the surface. So in question, the surface value was given that z square is equal to x y plus one. So let s be the s be the distance between s be the distance between this point from the horizon. This point. From the horizon is horizon is then s is equal to students. We know the distance between the two points formula. So the distance between the two points formula is if two points are uh, x one y one z one. And x two, y two, z two. So the distance between the two points formula is x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square plus z two minus z one whole square within the roots. Okay. Now the same formula here I am applying here because the one point is x y z. And another point is here horizon. Okay, so the point x y z is the one point, and another point is here horizon. Then x two y two z two, and horizon point is x one y one z one. Now the applying the formula. The first one is x two minus x one. That means x minus zero whole square. And plus y minus zero whole square, and plus z minus zero whole square within the root x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square plus z two minus z one whole square. Okay, so now squaring on both sides here, then s square is equal to x square and plus y square. And plus z square, but here in this uh, question, uh, given that the surface value z square as x y plus one, substitute in the place of z square as x y plus one. So x square is equal to x square plus y square plus x y plus one. Now treating this function x square plus y square. Plus x y plus one is the value of f of x comma y. Okay, students. Only this function, this function treating it as a f of x comma y. So according to the maximum and minimum conditions. So here, the function f of x comma y is equal to x square plus y square. Plus x y plus one. So according to the maximum and minimum conditions, at first you have to find out do f by do x. So with respect to x here, students, the first differentiation is two x, and second differentiation is zero because there is no x, and uh, y as a common, and for x differentiation is one, and for one one is constant differentiation is zero. So the answer is two x plus y. And again, partial differentiating of f with respect to y. So in the first term, there is no y and zero. And for y square, differentiation is two y. And x is a common here. And for y, differentiation is one. And for one, constant differentiation is zero. Then two y plus x. Then according to the our procedure, maximum and uh, minimum condition. So the first step is do f by do x. And uh, do f by do y, finding these two values and equating to zero. That is the first step. So now have to 
equating these two differential values partial differential values to zero 2x plus y is equal to zero and 2y plus x is equal to zero okay so these two are the two equations now solving these two equations to get the values of x and y here okay solving these two equations in the solving 1 and 2 Yeah, two x plus y is equal to zero, and two y plus x is equal to zero. So multiplying with uh, two here, the first two x plus y is as it is. Then doing the multiplication with uh, two here, at first to write down the x quotient value, students two into x is two x, and plus two into two y is nothing but. 4y is equal to zero. So now subtracting these two equations here, doing subtraction, 2x plus y is equal to zero, and 2x plus 4y is equal to zero. Doing subtraction, the symbols will be changes here. These two values will be cancelled. Then minus 3y is equal to zero. Then you will get the value of y as a zero here. Substitute y is equal to zero in any one of the equation. Uh, substituting substitute y is equal to zero value in equation two. So what is the equation two here? Two y plus x is equal to zero. Substitute in the place of y zero here. Then zero plus x is equal to zero, and x is also equal to zero here. So the value of x is zero, and the value of y is equal to zero. Then we get. The value of x comma y is nothing but as a zero comma zero. So the next value, the next value is r, and next value is s, and then next value is t. You have to find out here. So at the first finding the value of r students, that is do square f by do x square. It may also be written as do by do x of do f by do x. Then do by do x of so the value of do f by do x is nothing but here two x plus y okay the with with respect to x here we have to do the differentiation then do by do x of two x and do by do x of y students so two as a common and for x differentiation is one. And there is no x here. Then differentiation is zero. That is equal to two. Okay, students. And coming to find the s value here, do square f by do x do y. That is do by do x of do f by do y. Then do by do x of the substitute the value of do f by do y here. Then that value is two y plus x. Okay. Then do by do x of two uh, y and plus do by do x of x. Then the first value differentiation is uh, zero because there is no x here. Two y as a common for one differentiation is zero and do by do x of x differentiation is one. That is plus one. That is equal to one. Okay. And next finding the value of t. That is do square f by do y square. Do by do y of do f by do y. Then do by do y of the value of do f by do y is two y plus x. Yeah, do by do y of two y and do by do y of x. Yeah, two is common for y one zero for y one differentiation and here y is there. There is no y. Then differentiation is zero. Then final answer is two. Yeah, and again finding the value of R T minus S square value. Okay, so observe that these three values, students, R value and S value and T value, all values are in terms of constants only. Then no need to substitute this point value. Okay, x zero comma zero value. Then R T minus S square two into two minus one whole square. Then four minus one is equal to three. Row. So yeah, according to the our condition, maximum and minimum condition. So here r is greater than zero, and r t minus s square is also greater than zero. So here r greater than zero, 
R T minus S square greater than zero. So hence the function. Hence the function has minimum value. Has minimum value. Minimum value at zero comma zero. Remember this thing, students. R T minus S square greater than zero. And R greater than zero, minimum value, and R less than zero, it is maximum value only. So if it is in minimum value at zero comma zero, but our question is not to find the minimum value, how to find out the points here? We yeah, are substituting the values of x and y. Substituting uh, the values of x comma y. In z square surface, so the z square surface was given here as z square is equal to x y plus one students, but uh, the values of x and y are here zero comma zero. So here the values of x comma y is zero comma zero. Substitute that values. So if x is zero and y is zero, it is zero plus one. Then the value of z square is equal to plus or minus one. Yeah, coming to the next step, the points, the points which are the points which are nearer to the origin. The points which are nearer to the origin are zero comma zero comma one and Zero comma zero comma minus one. Eh, because students, so, so the if x y z are there, because surface is in terms of z here, then x y z coordinates here. So we know that the value of x y as zero comma zero, and we know the value of z is here plus or minus one. If z square is equal to one, then the value of the Z is here plus or minus one here, then zero comma zero and substituting the value of Z here, then Z is nothing but plus or minus one here, then plus or minus one, then uh, choosing the values as plus one at first and then minus one, okay, then zero zero one and zero zero minus one, okay, students. Now the next one, the shortest distance. The shortest distance from the origin. The shortest distance from the origin. From the origin uh, to the to any point. To any point is the shortest distance means students. At first, uh, one value is there. That value is s square. We find out the distance between the two points uh, using that formula. S square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Okay. So now substitute these uh, two points x, y, z, and x, y, z. So substituting that value, s square is equal to zero and plus zero and plus one. So if s square is equal to one, then shortest distance s is equal to one. So you may substitute the second point also here. That is zero zero minus one. But here z the term is having square. Then automatically the minus one square becomes as a plus one only. Okay, the next problem. Uh, find maximum value of x power m, y power n, z power p. Subject to the condition x plus y plus z is equal to a. Okay, uh, it was given that in this question, given that f of x comma y comma z is equal to x power m, y power n, and z power p, and subject to the condition x plus y plus z minus a is equal to zero. So according to the Lagrange's procedure. So Lagrange's function. So capital F of x comma y comma z is equal to small f of x comma y comma z lambda Lagrange's multiply 
and subject kuda condition phi of x comma y comma z substitute the values x power m y power n z power p and lagrange's multiplier and subject uh, to the condition x plus y plus z minus a okay treating it is uh, <coughs> equation 1 so now according to the procedure doing partial differentiation of f with respect to x here now i am doing do by do x of x power m y power n z power p and lambda do by do x of x plus y plus z minus a okay so here we are doing with the respect to x here partial differentiation students then y power n z power p common for x power m differentiation is m into x power m minus 1 and plus lambda into for x here we are doing for x differentiation is 1 and for remaining all terms differentiation becomes as a 0 because there is no x then y power n z power p m and x power m minus 1 may also be written as x power m by x here and plus lambda you know, at first i am writing m by x here this m and this x and remaining terms x power m y power n and z power p and again plus lambda then m by x so this total value is the given function here see here x power m y power n z power p substituting that value and plus lambda so according to the our procedure so have to equate dou f by dou x to 0 so now i am doing here m f by x plus lambda is equal to 0 m f by x is equal to minus lambda and m f by minus lambda is equal to x now this is the value of x okay, to find maximum of the function we need x y z values so similarly if you are proceeding partial differentiating of f with respect to y and with respect to z according to the, this value the value of y is n f by minus lambda and the value of z is p f by minus lambda so these are the x y z values but observe here in these three values x y z values the lagrange's multiplier is also there that is lambda is there so what you have to do now we have to evaluate the value of lagrange's multiplier and then substitute the values of lagrange's multiplier value in this x y z then you will get the extreme point here to find the maximum value of the function so for that purpose here i am doing substituting x y z values in the given subject to the condition okay so given it was given in this question x plus y plus z is equal to a substitute all these three values students so what is the value of x here m f by minus lambda and y is n f by minus lambda z is p f by minus lambda is equal to a so the common lcm is minus lambda and m f n f and p f is equal to a now doing the cross multiplication and making f common in the numerator f is common m plus n plus p is equal to a into minus lambda we need lambda value students lambda is equal to minus f of m plus n plus p divided by a <coughs> okay the value of lambda is here minus of m plus n plus p into f by a so now substitute lambda value in x y z so substitute lambda value in x comma y comma z okay now i am doing that uh, substitution so what is the value of x here x value is m f by minus lambda so the um, writing the x value here uh, the value of x is here 
x value is minus m f by lambda. Uh, substitute the value of lambda here. So, minus m f by uh, the value of lambda is minus f of m plus n plus p by a. So, now minus will be cancelled here and this value becomes as a denominator m f into a by m plus n plus p into f and f will be cancelled and finally a m by m plus n plus p. So, which value students it is? It is the value of x here. So, similarly, if you are proceeding the same way, so we will get the value of uh, y as a n by m plus n plus p. So, on the value of uh, z is a p by m plus n plus p. Okay. So, just we are applying similar way here. X is this value and Y is this value and Z is this value. So, now within these three points, you have to find out the maximum value of the given question. So, I am finding the maximum value. Then, maximum value. Maximum value of the function is here. X power M, Y power N and z power p. Yeah, substitute the values of x, y and z here. So, what is the value of x students? x is a m by m plus n plus p and whole power m and the value of y is a n by m plus n plus p and whole power n and the value of z is a p by m plus n plus p and whole power p. So, that is the answer. Thank you students.